I'll be around. Great. Thanks, Sindri. All right. This is God of War. And I'm trying to remember what I was doing. Uh, I had a goal highlighted. Family business. Retrieve the whetstone. That's right. I'll get a legendary pommel if I do it. So I'm doing this job for Sindri. And he wants me to go deeper into this cave. Right? Does he? Is that where I'm going? I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I know. He only got one side of the story. That feels like foreshadowing. His own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes. But Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah. A little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No. I imagine not. I like that I'm kind of going through going through some of these areas where I'm probably going to come back through on foot. Get a little bit of, of a preview of the scale of this place. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get through? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wall. My thought as well. Alright, so I have no idea how this is going to go. Because these uh, alternate side quests are sometimes difficulty wise a little rough. <laughs> uh oh. Don't do that. Uh, what the? Hey, leave me alone. Father, watch out! All right, boy. Oh, this guy, so this guy disappears periodically, and the only way I can actually fight him is if I get him hurt by my son first, and then I've got a brief window where I can actually do damage. You hit him, son. And... Or I guess... I guess her? I think these guys might be female. Not sure. Oh, fine. There we go. Pick up some loot. I love... My son is just constantly asking me for approval, and I just... I'm so stingy. It makes me feel like a better father, actually, to watch Kratos just be a disaster. Son, you must break every crate. Sometimes you find resources in crates. So there's some kind of wheel here that I'm probably going to do something with at some point. Oh! Look at that. There we go. So, God of War has got a definite Viking theme to it. Um, I kind of like that almost everything is just covered with Viking runes and scroll work. Like they, whoa! In the same way that Dead Space just wasn't just a horror game, but was also, they, they did a good job of trying to make it the ultimate space game. Like, everything in this game is about Vikings. <laughs> like, uh, when you're, when you're, look, you see this climbable ledge over here? It's marked with, like, Viking symbols. And, you know, the things that you can break with your axe are marked with Viking stuff. And also, my axe returns to my hand, like I'm Thor or something. I'm not even Thor. Thor's a character in this world. But we don't care. We're just gonna we're just gonna do whatever is the most Vikingy thing we can do. All right. 
right, so I gotta jump across this when the water wheel has a gap. There we go. So I really want to get in there at some point. I'm assuming there's some other route in there. Okay, so I could climb this. Is that what I want to do? Let's see. I love all the little bits of trickery they do to keep my son with me. It's like they'll, you know, I'll do some interaction that restricts the camera. Oh. Just hack silver? That's all there is up here? Really? Ah, oh, I felt so clever. Anyway. I mean, hack silver is useful. It's how you upgrade your stuff, but still. But yeah, you, you do some interaction that sort of takes control of the camera, and then it makes sure that your son is off screen, and then just puts him wherever he needs to be. When are you angry? What? With me. When? But oh. Always? I guess. Sometimes when you don't think I can do something, but I can. It is not always easy to know what. It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that whetstone, I wonder? Uh-oh. Oh, I almost forgot how to dodge. Great with the bees. Oh, he hit me with a dude! Uh, big guys are boring anyway. I'll use my rage to take this guy down. God of War had a more like distant perspective. And so it would always you usually zoom in a little bit whenever it did one of those huge killing sequences. This one with its closer camera, it actually makes them more satisfying because you know you're still in this big huge world with all these things going on, but you're only seeing a tiny bit of it. It's something something about having, you know, all these different layers to the image, where you see something very deep in the foreground. But then you're also aware of something that's happening way far away. Or just chaos happening in the background everywhere. That does. Let's get all the stuffs. All the stuffs, boy! I don't need any more health. <laughs> uh, a blade of meat shield, that last thing that you said, uh, uh, Twitch is asking me to confirm it. <laughs> because it was so crude, uh, but I, you know, I understand where you're coming from. Um, That's oh, here we go. <laughs> Did it put him under that on purpose? Okay, so that's climbable. Was there? Is this climbable too? This is also climbable. I feel like this is probably the non-essential thing. Maybe I don't know. So I always want to climb the non-essential thing first, or like explore the side thing first before continuing with the main quest. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. Yes, sir. Hold on. Let me read this. I love that my kid is like the literate one. And I'm just this 
you know, I got I got street smarts, I guess, but I'm just this big, enormous brute. But the game really emphasizes, you know, this kid's got this kid is special, right? Like he's got he's got a lot more to offer than just being small. There's always a risk um, when you create a character that is chatting with you all the time or needs things from you a lot um, for players to get annoyed at them. You know, like I know that we had that issue with uh, Lily in State of Decay is that, you know, even though I think she's a great character with a great, you know, uh, performance, it was really easy for players to, to get tired of her just because she was talking to them all the time. And if the game was going to make any annoying demands of them, it was in her voice. Um, and so it would be very easy for Atreus to become a character like that, but I haven't really seen him that way, partly because the game uh, the game keeps emphasizing how useful he is, you know, that, that he can do things I can't, and I'm glad to have him along. And it, also, and, and it works really hard, too, to make him sympathetic. Notice, by the way, he did not, when he jumped on my back, he did not come from, from the direction that he was standing before, at least if I, if I was seeing it right. I'm assuming this is some kind of secret, and I'm not leaving stuff behind. I like that I have to look before I leap. Feels appropriate. Come on, Atreus. There we are. Ooh, is that the one I could see? No, that's not the one I saw before. Crafting stuff. Did it? Oh nope. Here's more climbing. I'm starting to really wonder if maybe that I accidentally took the main path, or oh wait no, I just took a side route to get to the same place. Okay, cool. Well then, didn't matter which way I went. since I'm not going back to where I left my axe. Oh, wait. Oh, this was the same place that... Okay, I'm, I'm definitely lost. Whatever. Let's go. Come on, Atreus! What the... Oh, no. Son of a bitch. Says the severed head at my hip. In case you're wondering where that voice came from. Okay, so there was one way to go. Here's another way to go. Which one is the... Oh. That's the correct way to go. So let's not go the correct way. Definitely never go the correct way. Always go the wrong way. Look at these, like, they've, they littered the world with these little places where my son could do stuff. Just to make him seem a little bit more alive. Doesn't take that much. You have to pick the right subtle clues to make a character feel like they exist, rather than just being an automaton. Oh, wait, I didn't need that. What happened over there? Over where? Um, can I just jump down? Oh, the oh, is this held up by something? Oh, there's this. By the way, I love the way this axe works. I can just I can just do this all day. Okay, so is there something? 
can look at what, yeah, I know, buddy. Oh wait, oh I see, I see what I'm supposed to interact with. This thing over here. Bad happened. This is the sun. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. Uh, something worse than these guys. Killed him. Great. Now I have to Can kill whatever that is. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one muttering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. Cost him his life. <laughs> Look there, lad, by his feet. The whetstone. Well, there's no way we're getting out with this yes. cleanly. They used it to smash his face in. They did. Ew. <laughs> I love his attitude. Uh oh. Um, hello. The heck is up with you? What am I even supposed to do with this guy? Um, no. Please don't hurt me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it just hits his armor. I love how they light the armor up to tell you that's why stuff's not working. Does not stop him at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, so there's an enemy who's been shooting at me this whole time. I don't even know where they are. Oh, there he is. Hey. that well lad weavers have very specific priorities if it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink Epic it talisman. might as well use it as a blunt object shattered calls the agent let's have a look at this ancient relic of hell deemed too powerful to remain whole fragments of its former strength lie scattered at the realms so right now i've got the talisman of betrayal which slows down time and i never remember to use it so yeah, let's uh, let's equip this one, and I don't even know what it's going. So L1 plus circle to activate. We'll we'll try it, and then blessing of runic. Nah. Sigil protection from poison. Resistance to frost. Huh. Resistance to burn. I want to see a summary of all of the ones I have on me right now, because I forgot I've 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 put on several of these. Damage of all axes by six percent. Hmm. Six percent is such a small number. I 
Let's see, what, what hurts me the most often? Fire? Fire does hurt me a lot. Let's equip that for now. Hey there, Keezy. Welcome back. So, like, you know, one of the problems in this God of War... Whoa, I heard something is the fact that most of the upgrades are so small in value, it's really hard to figure out what you want to do. Like, you're like, oh, I, do I want, you know, 2% more of this or 2% more of that? I'm like, I don't care that much about either. Like, certain items are, are valuable enough on their own to make it... There's a lot to see here. Yeah. Oh, can you hit that, buddy? Yes, but there's a switch in there. Wait, how did you? Oh, what? Okay, guy. Sure, whatever. Thanks for solving that for me, Atreus. Oh, that was a lot of hack silver. Hack silver is the best kind of silver, because, you know, you can hack things with it. See? Look at all that hacking I'm doing. What the? Hey, you stop that. Son, you want to open that up for me? And that too. I hope it wasn't possible for me to get here without uh, without the ability to explode red Look sappy here. things. Yes, sir. Oh, hello. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow, this goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Um, Have you thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret? I'm yes? nervous about. Is this yeah. the way? Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the storeroom. Hmm. Right, this is one way to leave. Oh, I was already here. Okay, I was already here. Let's go back, make sure I didn't miss anything. I feel like there's at least one item. Oh, here's something. I feel like there's at least one item. There's a chance that I missed. It right, looks like this is my way out via boat. Uh, well, here's something. Yeah, I can't shake that. I think there's a, there's a chest I haven't opened or something. Well, maybe, the, maybe it's still ahead of me. Oh, wait, I can just pull right up here? I probably don't... Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, oh. Hey, helpful little vermin. Showed me there was an entrance here. That's the chest I was missing. Right there. Okay, I feel way better about myself now.
Well, I'm glad they let put that dock there to kind of remind me there might be something else I wanted. That I wonder if I wonder if that's why they put that there. Okay, looks like I'll want to backtrack to get that chest. We can dock the boat here. Can we? Can we dock the boat here? Um, I don't. I don't think we can dock the boat here. No, no, I don't want to go that way, Kratos. He turned around once. Can you do it again? Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, let's, oh, let's back up. There we go. Boy, where can I dock the boat? There, there it is. Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to just do it backwards the entire way? You know what I want? I want an animation where they switch sides in the boat. All right. Well, first things first. Backtrack and grab the crap I missed. I wish Mom were here. Oh. That's the thing I can break. You must never hurry towards your goal. Always stop and open every chest and destroy every crate. Leave no furniture unsmashed. Yay, Hacksilver. neat place. The thing is, it's, it's made out of a lot of, you know, familiar pieces. Like, they had... I have a, a question. Oh, what? Ymir was the first giant. Where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Anungagon, the great boy. How did it go with the There strong? were no realms yet. Only primordial forces. <laughs> there was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced... And we'll pick this up later. <laughs> we found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful. This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I love Here. how squeamish this dude is. <sighs> I can't wait to test out the new whetstone. I thought I already had something like this. Okay, so successful axe kills. Axe kills. <laughs> successful axe kills. Grant a health burst. Okay, so I had that. Now it's any axe hit. Right now I've got explosion of lightning. Um, but it gives me strength. I've never seen it happening, though. And this one is level three. I don't know what that means. Gives me a lot of luck. Sure. Let's try that. Oh, it's got a blade on it. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. Uh, it does I look like much. After my brother borrowed the last one, I saw him spit on it. To lube it out, he said. I didn't ask for it back. <laughs> okay. So is there anything so here I want to around, friends? Wanna upgrade. You can upgrade the pommel. Let's see here. All right, sure. If you see my brother again, just please tell him to keep his fiddlers off my axe, okay? What a talisman? Oh, this one can be upgraded too. With dragon tears? I haven't even tried this one out yet, though. Don't let the dragger get you. If I don't know if I want it, I'm not going to spend a resource on it.
Which way am I going? Is, oh wait, this seems wrong. Um, is this just going right back in? Oh, I'm gonna interrupt you. Primordial fire and ice met in the great void. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. The mystic life. I really don't want to. If this is back in. From this water. In the earth. Oh, now it is. Became a being of pure creation and chaos. Oh, shut up, head. Father to all that came after. Even the ace here? Aye. Every god, man, and beast came first from Amir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his oh creator gosh. and spilled Amir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order oh, come to on. the realms. Amir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All Father, as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Hey, you know what? Let's go this way, buddy. The mirror? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know what? I think it's best we just end it there. I'm not gonna try to uh, make that work. We'll teleport somewhere else. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. I know I've been up in a mountain for a while now, but since when do the dead not stay dead? A little resurrection among friends is one thing, I can hardly complain. But it's as if hell itself is shambling into Midgard. Freya said the world was out of balance. That somebody meddled with forces. Oh, that's plain to see. And Odin is the king of meddlers. But I shudder to think what he did to cause this. But perhaps it involves the Valkyries. That'd be playing a dangerous game indeed. So, this place has uh, this teleportation zone, this this area that I use to uh, to get around. It has places where I can jump off to my death for no reason. Um, that I feel like must mean something for later on in the game. Can't wait to find out what. All right, so looks like I was trying to do something. What is this? Oh, return to Fafnir's storeroom, right? And recover Gulvig's bones. Oh, wait, this is saying I can't. Oh, I thought I could teleport here, and then teleport back out to these other places, but I guess not. Do I have to just? Do I just have to leave the building and get a boat? I guess that's how it works. Huh. Alright. Well, looks like this is the way out. Well, you know what? I think we've, uh... I got through a side quest in God of War. We've seen what this game's about. And, uh, I think I'll, I'll give it a little bit of a break. So... Switch back to normal here. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go play something else. Uh, but you know, here's here's all the stuff that I do at the end of a YouTube video. And yeah, <laughs> goodbye. But not really goodbye. Not to the people on Twitch, because I'm gonna keep playing other games. <laughs>